Even as public life in Baghdad has largely come to a halt, the cameras for this TV show never stopped rolling. And action! It was scheduled to air during the fasting month of Ramadan, a prime time for television across the Arab world. And so the director has found ways to overcome the COVID-19 lockdown. Around 90% of Iraqi productions that were supposed to air during Ramadan were cancelled, so there were no options. The audiences would be bored with foreign and Arabic content that they were watching in the past. We imposed a sort of semi-quarantine for the programming team. We only film inside this house, we don't mix with other people, and we took preventative measures. The name of the satirical comedy is Wilayat al-Batih, which translates a state of melons. A local expression used to describe a chaotic situation, it alludes to the lack of stability in post-2003 Iraq. The sketches tackle everyday issues such as corruption and the impact of conservative norms on society. Darling Abu Taha, stop sending messages. You call me sister, but then you send messages past midnight. Recorded in Iraqi dialect, it has gained popularity over long-established Turkish and Egyptian series. We managed to use a language that appeals to all classes of Iraqi society, so the audience will see us as one of their family. They'll say, yes, this old lady is like my mother, or that character like my brother. TV series have always been an integral part of Ramadan, but the crew hopes that this year their efforts will help lighten up evenings for people stuck at home. The curfew has been lifted during the day, but it remains in place in the evening, which is when people usually gather to break their fast. That means that many cherished Ramadan traditions cannot be observed this year. We join one family at their home as they prepare for the first iftar, a meal to break their daily fast. Delightful aromas waft through the kitchen, and there's no shortage of mouth-watering dishes spread on the table. But Shahad, mother of three and soon to give birth to a fourth son, misses her extended family. It's Ramadan, so normally we should be at my grandfather's house, but we can't go. Later in the evening, the men in the family would usually head out with their friends and relatives until late at night. Ramadan is known for coffee shops and playing games in public. It's all about the gatherings. I would usually go to a coffee shop to have shisha, but this year I cannot do that as all the coffee shops are prohibited and closed. And so watching TV is one of the few entertainment options left. After their meal, the family tunes into Ulayat al-Batih. It's a rare occasion to smile and one of the few traditions that have not been appended by the coronavirus pandemic. Simona Fultin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.